Hello, this is John Solick, orthopedic sports medicine surgeon at Emerge Ortho in Raleigh, Durham, North Carolina. Today we'll be demonstrating our graft preparation technique that can be utilized for suspensory fixation uh, on both of the femur and the tibia. To demonstrate our technique today, we'll be using uh, the ConMed graft preparation table. My preferred reconstruction technique uh, is with autograft. But for demonstration purposes for this video, uh, we'll be utilizing a single semitendinosus hamstring graft. So here we are placing sutures through both ends uh, of the doubled over graft to essentially convert those ends to a single tendon. And this initial fixation technique can be done with either one tendon or two tendons stacked on top of each other. Once we've made a couple of passes with our suture loop, we pass the suture and the graft through the infinity adjustable free loop and direct them back toward the infinity uh, femoral adjustable loop button. As we direct the needle and graft back toward the femoral adjustable loop button, we will use the straight needle to pass the sutures through that end of the graft and then tension the graft to our desired length. We will aim for a length of 60 to 65 millimeters and up to 70 millimeters. Once the graft is fixed at our desired length, we will proceed with uh, placing fixation sutures in both ends of the graft. We always begin by placing the suture starting on the inside of the graft and exiting toward the external aspect. We loop the suture around and then finish on the inside of the graft so that when we tie our knot, we can bury the knot internally within the graft. We use number two hi-fi suture to establish one fixation point on each end of the graft, and then we repeat the process with zero vicral in a similar uh, fashion. Typically, a total of two fixation points on each end of the graft is adequate. However, additional fixation points with sutures can be added as desired. The infinity femoral adjustable loop button demonstrated here has a blue tab which is attached to the femoral loop. This allows the surgeon to reverse the graft back out of the femoral tunnel after the femoral button has been flipped and deployed on the femoral cortex. This feature gives the surgeon the ability to optimize the graft depth and position in both the femoral and tibial tunnels after button deployment. We will then proceed to size our graft, and in this particular case, we will utilize a 10 millimeter tunnel on our tibial side and a 9 millimeter tunnel on the femoral side. 